Water is one of the most basic things for life to exist, and it's practically everywhere too. It makes up 71% of the Earth's surface, and even on land, it takes the forms of rivers, lakes, and streams. And not only that, but humanity has been using water for drinking and agricultural purposes for a very long time. And yet, despite all of this, why hasn't water ran out yet? This is because of the water cycle, which consists of four stages, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. Let's go through each of these stages in detail. First, let's start with evaporation. Let's imagine the water in an ocean. The sun hits the ocean and hits those water molecules, heating them up and then they transform their state of matter into a gas, or water vapor, and then they rise into the sky. This process is known as evaporation. Next is condensation, which is when the water vapor that is in the sky cools down and turns into water droplets again. Then these water droplets kind of come together, start sticking together, and form what we know as clouds. After this, comes the stage of precipitation, which is when these water droplets stick together and become too heavy to stay up in the sky, which then they fall down, usually as rain, but depending on weather conditions, it can also fall as snow, sheet, or hail. Then comes the final stage of the water cycle, collection. When the water hits the ground as whatever it precipitated as, it runs down into rivers, streams, lakes, oceans, and seas, where it's ready to start the cycle all over again as it gets evaporated into the sky. In conclusion, we learned about the water cycle and its four stages, which are evaporation, which is when the water turns into water vapor and goes into the sky, condensation, which is where in the sky the water vapor turns back into water droplets and forms clouds, Precipitation, when these water droplets in the clouds get too heavy and start falling down as either rain, sheet, snow, or hail. And finally, collection, which is when this water that comes back to the ground flows back into streams, rivers, lakes, oceans, and seas. Thank you for watching. Love you. Amrita.